Welcome back to another Oxygen Not Included video here with the Spaced Out DLC. We are progressing nicely in my book, I would say. Uh, we've got some cool things. We've got Sparkle Streakers. That's always a good sign. Um, getting this dig down here because I want this carbon dioxide to start falling. It's a lot of carbon dioxide. Our duplicates are having a hard time breathing over here. We don't even have a lot of good polluted oxygen. But this is going to help down here. And then material science is progressing. I I'm going to just say it shockingly easy to get this up and running. I, I don't know. That's I was all concerned about it, thinking that, oh boy, it's going to be tough. But nah. Yeah, I think we're good. Uh, we've got our freezers up and running which is super awesome um so and these need i'm gonna need to set these to priority seven food ne needs to get in there asap don't mind me why i muted to both cough and to uh, open my new drink. Let's open these doors. Why aren't they open already? Maybe I had shine bugs coming in before. Also, if we have it, which I think we do, we might replace this background with obsidian. And we do have it. Okay, so background buildings. Oof. Look at that. I think we have chain deconstruction on. So I wonder if that's actually going to... Yep. It will pop all at the same time. Great! That's going to be another sleep command, though. Look at that. Lindsay not effing around. I think that's our newest digger or our builder with plus 14 in construction plus and a plus in construction. It was it was just wild. Furniture. Nope. Let's uh let's get zoom back in. You know what we should build is a party room for them as well. Okay, I thought you can go to that. Watch how cool Obsidian looks. Like, it is my favorite looking wallpaper like this. Like, I've had bases in the past where I just covered the entire base in Obsidian wallpaper. Look how cool that is! And then we're going to set a sweep command here. Because there's a lot of shit there. And that needs to get out of our bedrooms, otherwise our morale will go down. Tell me that doesn't look like a starry sky right here. Alright, we got our diggers and such going strong over here. Nisbet is killing it. Poke shells are a nice source of lime in like the mid game uh, but they are a pain in the butt to keep happy and then when they lay an egg they also protect the egg so you basically have to have a system oh we have a glossy draco uh glossy draclet yes hell yeah okay so now we're gonna start getting plastic and plastic will be key. The first thing I'll do is I'll just change the ladder because that's going to be a super efficient way for us to t tackle that. But um, we're going to do right into marble block, I guess. I don't even know. Who cares? Um, we're, we're making our way down the list with just literally this right here. I'm, I'm super excited about this little setup. It's working completely just fine for what we need. 
are we looking Frankie are almost there sorry I just keep checking on Frankie because I need him to actually get his shit together so yeah glossy Draco when they get groomed they give off plastic and we're about to get another one over here incubating 58% and then I mean honestly I'm good with glossy or regular ones because um, and you know because it's gonna take so long F it let's get some paintings in here and really bump up the morale and the look because like look how cool those are gonna be so we're gonna use that reed fiber to create some paintings here <laughs> a gold amalgam and reed fiber like how fancy are they they take the sweep command thing super seriously uh, we're still running on two algae diffusers that's literally it oh this is that's actually interesting so the carbon dioxide is flowing like this falling into this hole coming down over here and then getting trapped and not coming into the carbon skimmer it's a good call out there why is there no power and then this is where we add our next coal generator because we can have three on here no problem and then we need automation in addition Construction priority seven. So the generators are running flat out and can't support. So maximum draw on this wire is 3,300. Yeah, it's kind of a lot. I could run a second second setup, and then do one for one side of the base, one for the other side of the base, which is feasible. Temperature on this side has got to be getting hot. Yep. We'll have to start thinking about how we cool that down. I mean, we could use these boards. I could literally plant one in here right now. And I think we just might. It's not a bad idea as we have one of them. Radiation will be getting up there, but at least it'll be kind of out of the way. Yeah, let's get our first painting. Let's get our masterwork. He like the masterwork artist is gonna come by. And they basically like shoot this gun. Oh yeah, muckroot needs to be added to this. You don't really cook cook muckroot. Yeah, there. It's basically like a paint gun on it. And Max is killing it. Max has been doing this a while now, like knocking out masterworks left and right. Uh, okay, you're done for the day. Tough work day. I gotta say, uh, lately work in real life has been very busy, so I would like to record more videos and, and do more of these playthroughs, but it, it just, you know, when life kind of gets in the way sometimes is what's happening now so um you don't well, as it stands right now i have a video out every day basically and then some uh two videos a day on some other days um but if that changes a little bit you know why this is actually not bad I actually do like Catalina for this starry-eyed because I think there's some research that you do while you're in space maybe I actually I don't know if that's true because I have this thing <coughs> and we got these little data banks all over the place although I feel like there's a version of this that's on a rocket and that's what you, it gets you the additional science I don't know this build worked out like decently well here um, the thing that we need to do though is start 
prioritizing this. And we're going to literally just do this. And actually, before I do that, I want to really just go for it. And now we can do a priority seven. And just really let them go to town on it. But watch to make sure that they don't die, because it's very likely. Some more rad bolts. I just saw it. It's a very minor amount of polluted water, but look at all of it down here. Like, where is the oil biome? Does not appear we're even getting close. There's literally like an ice biome right here, which means like the oil has got to be like down here somewhere, maybe down here. Pretty big drill out for the map already. Is this overpressure? Please tell me it is. I don't have the background tiles here yet. Look at our two first masterwork paintings. So I also have a. Um, wait. Oh, okay. I don't know. You could do that. That's cool. Yeah. See, so I have a mod. Well, I don't know if this is part of that mod, but I also have a resculpt mod where I could say like, nah, I want only this one. So this is gonna be the thinker's dining area. If you're not a thinker, don't go in there. Over here is the athletes. Actually, the other one's more of a thinker. That's the model one. Okay, that's the athletes. Maybe our next dining room will be the thinkers. Do we not have reed fiber? No, we do. It's only one reed fiber per painting. That's nothing. Deconstruct that glass, deconstruct that. Um, super beneficial, obviously, as you might imagine, to get that glass because it's going to help us when we start building solar panels. This glass is like one of those things that's... Re what is this? That's a bug. Uh, glass is one of those things that's really, really difficult to... Well, not difficult. But it's, um, glass produces a lot of heat. So uh, constructing glass or, or forging it, I think it's done in a forge, makes it super, super, I just had a thought, makes it super, super dangerous to do. We should probably build a ladder down here, huh? As they're traversing this all too frequently. This thing is not being used at all so far, but I don't think we've actually asked it to be yet. Freezer's getting some stuff. Pickled meal, yeah. Muck root, okay. Wow, this is cool. I didn't know that I had this. This cycle last cycle last five cycles up time. I'm sure this is helping it though. Oh, I don't know if we had another one. Let's add two. <coughs> the fact that we have another generator on the line is great. I don't think that there's anything that hinders a stable Yeah, like I could put a generator in here if I wanted to. And then have this side be powered by a setup just like this. Something to think about. Then we'd have to split the line in half 
So like this half and then this half and really just see where where it goes from there. Okay, I'm curious about something. So that's material science and that's botanical. Okay, so I actually kind of want mini liquid pump. Yeah, mini gas pump. And then this is small petroleum engine, but I don't really care about that. I do care about this a little bit. Targeting beacon, like this will be great for when we go to the next planet. So let's just go to that because I want to see the new lab being used. I want I want to see this being used with these data disks. So I think they do it kind of, well, I was going to say, I think Jean does it in a row, but. Okay, maybe he is doing it in a row. Uh, let's capture these as well. Is Frankie not done yet? Goodness, Frankie, get your shit together. It's going to be a while before we can build an entire plastic ladder for our dupes on both sides of the of the rung here, but, you know, at least in this way, if we get down to the oil biome, it's, it's uh, not too bad to get petroleum and plastic built. Then we could do comfy beds and all of that stuff too. Probably expand this to make like 24, 24, 24, 24, like just keep going. And then having this expanded here and then incorporate this actually within the quote unquote real base. At some point your duplicates become so powerful that you can just um, tear down an entire section and then rebuild it within a cycle or less. Um, as long as you make it a high enough priority and, and they focus in on it. Like the fact that we're walking around here where it's like chlorine, carbon dioxide, polluted oxygen, literally all the things and they don't really mind. I kind of want this to be priority here. Actually, let's really make it a priority. Like this is, this will save you time. If we, if you build that now, you will save a lot more time in the future. Loving it, loving it. This is great because it's giving us a little bit of oxygen right here. So our dupes can actually breathe. There's actually a decent amount now. Remember when this was all carbon dioxide? And now it's all falling down into this pit, like exactly like we wanted. And then, so this is like, where's the dead center of our base? Right here? So that's the dead center of our base, right here. Um, it's like it didn't take that one. Okay. Okay. That was interesting. Um, and I'm only doing this for visibility. But I think that's dead center there. Yep. And the reason we're doing that is because we're going to do the pool of water. Kind of just in the center there. Okay. All objects. Thank you very much. <coughs> Food has been hovering at the basically exact same, spit, the same spot this entire time. Um, I don't know what dropped here. Slime. Get that out of there now. 
power's not going. Let's make sure that's a priority seven. That's super important. Lots of things hinge on power being up there. And then this one needs to be at 100%. That's another one where I would put a auto sweeper right here with a bin with coal and then let that auto fill itself. I'm not even looking at other dupes. I, I just can't. Unless like it's something that immediately catches my eyes like wow that we need to have that. I'm not going to mess with it. There's a lot of polluted water around here. Look at this giant puddle already. This bothers me. I might be able to delete that. Can I delete that in sandbox mode? Destroy one pixel. Yes, thank you. Because otherwise you can't get rid of that. Priority construction six. Let's get the bedrooms in shape. Why would this be taking so long? We have some great constructors, con builders, construct builders. And there's no way we ran out of obsidian. We have zero units of reed fiber. How? I see some literally laying right there. Oh, that's thimble reed seed. No, that's six reed fiber right there. What? How is that? Oh, is it just because that's allotted for, for this, maybe? Okay, so this helped, because remember there was that carbon dioxide from this pulling up into this area. Now it's being filtered out. Okay, great. Great, great, great. This just seems like straight oxygen now, which is absolutely insane. There's some polluted oxygen here, and that's going to make its way up here and then get filtered. So duplicates are probably saying like, oh, uh, you know, long commutes and stuff. Yep. And if they're saying like starving or whatever, it means that they don't have enough time to get from here to from their dig site to where they need to eat, basically. That's all that really comes down to. did this because I didn't want them to get stuck if a different duplicate basically demolished their path. So I just wanted to knock that out really quick. Um, and then let's wrangle this one, priority nine, because we can get him into our little, little farm there. Yep, good job. He's going to drop. Someone's got to pick him up. Okay, do we have construction priority higher? No. If construction priority isn't higher, then why are you focusing on the ladder? Why wouldn't you just demolish? Maybe because... Oh, because you're the builder. Got it. And your focus is building. Makes sense. Oh, all of this chlorine. Got some Paku in there. Got some reed fiber. Nothing in here has been built yet. Great. 
That's because I set this priority six and this priority seven. So the moment they finish this, it's going to be good. Oh, what's in here? <coughs> I feel like we've got a pretty decent size of the <laughs> map. This is kind of crazy to have dug out already. Like, there's really nothing stopping us for just incorporating this into the actual base and having bedrooms and all of that crap just right there. Um, because it's full of oxygen, like, very breathable. Obviously not this, but all of that's going to get filtered down here in a bit. And then once we find a complete, like, low ground, then we can actually turn that into... get this track there and then we could put like a skimmer down in there I think actually we're progressing rather nicely all things considered got additional reed fiber here um, you know I think I am gonna I'm going to do I want to tackle this. Here's my thought. Oxygen. Uh, no, ventilation is what I want. Gas pump. And I'm going to put it right there. Then I'm going to do stations. Okay, first of all, we need an exosuit forge. That's primary. So we'll actually get rid of this for now. Because we need to start making some exosuits. Research is not complete, right? Nope. Okay. I really want to see this being used. Also, I feel like this draws a lot. I think 480. I don't know if it says it in here. But anyway. Exosuit Forge, priority seven. Um, you know, I keep trying to wrangle these Sweetles and I realize there's no place for them to go because I don't have a drop point for Sweetles. Yeah, get that meat, get that barbecue. Um, Oh man, what was it? Okay, so we're looking at Frankie's gotta have it. Yeah, Frankie, mechatronics engineer, get to effing work. Get to work right now. Algae we still have a ton of. So we're still running on two diffusers okay so um worn atmos suit what copper we're gonna go with copper and we're gonna do 12 but when it's available because we're definitely not gonna, we don't have enough materials for 12 just yet but let's actually Start knocking out some copper there. Yeah, these they're they're kind of killing it on this build. Hmm. I think if we're gonna dig a little further down because. I'm going to try to get this, all of this crap in there as well. But we have to stop before we get to the abyssalite break for the oil biome. So that's going to be our, our stopping point for kind of the quote unquote bottom of the base. I just used air quotes there. I'm sure you saw that, you know, virtually through the camera. Um, and then 
while they're doing that, let's start setting up the exosuit checkpoint. And so we'll put it like that because there will be a, a door. I'll actually move this door here at some point, but so we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight is how many we're getting right now. And they might build that now, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to be able to be used. I don't have um, oxygen running into it yet, um, which that's what I was trying to set up here. And we can just literally run a gas pipe. Like so. Power. Don't have conduct conductive wire for that, but that's exactly what we would do is run that to the gas pipe. So I think for now we could just literally temper it and do that, and that's going to cause uh, issues, but ooh, ooh, not snazzy suit. And we're giving this one to Otto, the other, the other digger. So that's three snazzy suits. In my opinion, the best one, but <clears throat> now that I think of it, the the warm suit or the cold one would be really beneficial in those um, just like certain biomes that have the, uh, you know, like it's a frozen biome or if it's a delete this stuff now this is good um yeah when you go to those planets that are like oh it's you know freaking lava planet or it's all ice over here it might be nice to have a sweater when it's all ice Is this a priority? Did I make this a priority? I did. Okay, so they'll finish that out and then they'll come down and do this. I might make this priority six. And then all of this is six over here. So they, yeah, this guy's supplying. Lindsay's supplying already. My apologies, not a guy. Um, let's wrangle this Dreco. Why? Why are you wrangled? Oh, because it's a glossy Draco. I mean, that's our first piece of plastic right there when he gets groomed. And you know, Sweetles, I don't feel like you're really doing anything for me. So I'm going to basically mimic this, and I'd rather have a second Draco farm. Yeah, we really need someone to farm. And Frankie. Frankie, my good man, where are you in the... Yep, operating. Building, yeah, that's you. Yeah, you should be building this entire conveyor rail right now. Actually, I could just make that a pretty high priority and he would build it because he's the only one that can actually make that happen have it just go and build the exosuit decks as well might regret that but whatever oh boy looking at the timer it looks like we are well past our time um thank you so much as usual for watching 
Don't forget to like the video if you're enjoying the series. Comment, please, if uh, you feel like there's something that I could be doing a little bit better or, uh, you know, maybe you're like, oh, what's, why are you building the exosuit docks there? Why wouldn't you build them up here? Yeah, that's actually probably a good idea. I probably should have built them up there, but um, let me know what your thoughts are. Get back to me in the comments, and I will catch you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great night.